Hi guys, welcome to HD Gaming 881 and today for you I've got a tutorial, a Cinema 4D tutorial that is. It is how to get this sort of lightning effect because I had a few people asking about that and they really wanted to know how to do it. So this is the pro final product, what it should look like, I'll just render it out here. Looks pretty nice, it's a bit off you know, my camera angle but that's about it. Okay, you want to create a new document uh, and put in a plane. No. Alright, now down here you want to create a texture. You want to put all the color to just black. Now down here in luminance, you want to click the arrow here, click gradient, click gra the word gradient, change that to V. Now these two boxes on the outside, you want them both to be black. Then you want to create a new one in the middle. It doesn't really matter if it's you know not quite in the middle, but you know, sort of around there. You're going to drag the black like this. So that sort of gets rid of the area like that. I'm going to get a bit further. Now these two things in the middle, that changes the line in the middle there, the, you know, the brightness. You don't need that there if you don't want to, so you just, you know, put them in exactly the same spot, place, you know, out like that. Um, but I, I kind of like it there, so I'm going to do that. Down here in turbulence, you want to set that to about 50. Octaves, I like to keep at about four and a half. Um, scale, that's just, you know, the scale of it. Uh, frequency is probably best, you know, around 50. I'm going to put it at 48. And see, this is sort of the roundness of it. For a good turnout, you should put it to negative two. But again, you can um, mess around with that all you want. Also, make sure you check the luminance box here. So next, you want to disable specular and enable alpha. Now you want to get this, drag it over to alpha and put it right there. And that's almost it for that. Now you want to go to editor, click animated preview. That is so when you play it through the timeline, you'll actually be able to see the animation. Now you want to drag this onto your plane. And as you can see, we have a lightning effect. I'll just render that out. Looks pretty nice. So as for the settings, if you go back here, um, you can pro play around with this. Turbulence is sort of, you know, the, you know, how wide it is, sort of. Octaves also helps with the randomness of it. You can see there, it doesn't make too much of a difference. But if I put it down to absolute zero, it looks completely crap. So I'm going to keep that at four and a half. Scale, sort of, you know, the scale of it. You can see it changes every time. But if I put it down to, you know, say three, you can see it's not very, you know, random or anything. It's just a, a straight line. So I'm going to keep that 100%. Uh, another good way of doing it would be 85%. I also like the look of that. But I'm just going to keep it at 100 for the sake of this. Frequency, you can change that. It really it doesn't matter what it's like. Um, seed, I like to keep it at minus 2 because if I go to minus 6, it sort of spreads out a bit too much. And for a lightning bolt, that's not really all too realistic. Now, something to note is if you change it, but then you don't drag the material here back into the alpha, then it will not work very well. I'll just render this out. You can see there's black bits everywhere, so I'm just going to render that out. You can see, you know, a lot of it is cut off, and, you know, in severe cases, you can even be left with nothing there. But it's an easy fix. You just go to luminance, drag it over, drop it there, and you can see up here it's brightened. And then you render it out, and it looks completely fine. So yeah, another thing you might want to do is apply a, go a glow and an object glow. Then go down into here and tick glow. That'll give it you know, a glowing effect. If I render it out now, you can see it glows a bit more, which is what I did do in the speed up. So you can see. And that's so that's about it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video, whether it be a speed up or a tutorial or a gaming video or whatever. Um, good news is that I'm getting a new computer reasonably soon, like early next year. And it's, you know, compared to this, it's just amazing. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.